comedian Glenn, let's get that energy going for our next comedian, Dave Primiano. So, uh, not to sound like a dick or anything, but I just hope you guys collectively as an audience aren't shitty. Because I don't think I could handle it right now. I, I just got fired from my job uh, six months ago. And, and I haven't even bothered to put together a new resume because it's, it's just too much depressing shit for an eight, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Like it starts off so positive when you put your name and your email address and your phone number. I'm like, I got legitimate answers for all of those. <laughs> no employer's gonna be like, nope, don't like this. You have too, too many eights in your phone number. <laughs> but like, then I get to education and I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking brag about an associate's degree. All the associate's degree says is that I went to college like gay guys fuck women. <laughs> like, I knew it wasn't going to do anything for me, but it made my parents happy. Uh, pause break, write that down. I want a nice office job, but for no other reason, because I just have really comfortable dress shoes, and I'm tired of wearing them only at funerals. As you can imagine the weird looks I get when I tell people, it's like I'm walking on clouds right now. <laughs> but, uh, the people in my life are starting to tell how depressed I'm getting. Like, I was at dinner, I was at my mom's house the other day for dinner and uh, living there, and, uh... <laughs> And she says to me, look, Dave, I know you're depressed about not having a job or any money, but one thing you need to know is that you're not allowed to kill yourself until after I'm dead. <laughs> Actual statement. You can ask her in the lobby. <laughs> and like, what kind of shitty thing is that to say to your own child when you're not even sick? <laughs> You didn't like that suicide joke. Here's another one. So, so I was driving in the car with a friend of mine the other day, and uh, this song came on the radio, and she looks at me, she's like, you know, I have a friend that killed himself to this song. I'm like, oh shit, that's awkward. I like it too. I mean, I guess you can't call me a diehard fan. I like to tap my toe to something when I enjoy it. I'm not saying anyone's way is better, but mine does allow for multiple listens. And I know that makes me sound like a dick, but she's the dick for finding out that information in the first place. There's a finite amount of things you're allowed to say to a grieving family. Like, I'm so sorry for your loss. How did it happen? Not, and uh, did your son's ultimate demise have an accompanying soundtrack to it? <laughs> Will I be able to find it on iTunes, and uh, what would I look for it under? Johnny's mind-blowing suicide picks? <laughs> Hanging with Johnny, a retrospective? <laughs> or Johnny's final cut? <laughs> so, uh, is it, is it any surprise to anyone here that I'm still single? <laughs> Anyone at all? Like, I actually enjoy that part of my life a little bit, but it's not like I could change it if I wanted to. Like, I don't have any idea how to talk to women. Like, too soon in the conversation, I'm always like, so, you ever been with a black guy? Shit, forgot to ask your name. <laughs> and it's not even like a racist reason I'm saying that. It's not like, oh, I'm not trying to catch black from you. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just more like, what's the point? I mean, me sleeping with a girl after a black eye is like throwing a paper airplane at ground zero. It's too late, too late. <laughs> no. Like, I know I'm not sexy. Like, if a girl eyes me up, I, I know, like, the best case scenario is she's like, well, he's kind of fat, he's kind of hairy. I wouldn't fuck him, but he's definitely good for a cuddle, maybe. <laughs> Sad thing is, I am fine with that. I mean, look at me, I don't know my way around a vagina. <laughs> I am so bad in bed that I have default lines ready to fire off 
just in case I fire off too quickly myself. <laughs> wow, what did you do this time? It's yeah. never been like that before. You've never looked so pretty. So this is what it's like when you're not crying. <laughs> and I should say, I kept that joke ambiguous enough that if you got offended by it, you took it to that place. <laughs> awesome at that shit. And I just wish it's something I could brag about with, like, my group of friends, too. Because if, like, my buddy tells me he got into some girl's pants, I will high-five him or fist-bump him or, or bro-hug it out with him. If she's good-looking enough, I'll ask to smell his fingers. <laughs> but can't I get the same respect if I point out a girl at a bar and be like, yo, you see that chick over there? Snuggled the fuck out of her the other night. <laughs> I'm talking 66ing all night long. Oh man, it was perfect. She just worked a double shift, didn't get much sleep the night before. Five minutes with me, fucking out. And I'm out too, guys. Thanks a lot. You're great. Hey, Jimmy, I'm